guys so i'm gonna do the story time when oh my lips look just juicy with this color like it's get your zen gloss that's all i know zen gloss the color is love affair get your zen gloss for real because i feel like my lips are like like mwah, like so one time right i went to delaware and I chilled with some old friends, I guess. And I had a friend in Atlanta. I mean, we... Well, I don't know. I'm gonna say friend. I did a, a detox out there. Hung out with, like, female friends or whatever. And we just... It was like a girl's trip, kind of. But here's the tea. So I stayed out there for a little bit. And then I got invited to Atlanta. So basically, me and the person used to talk. I took the Greyhound to ATL and first things first I got stuck in Virginia like my buses were all late they tried to make me stay the night <laughs> in the bus station and I was like no so um figured out a solution got to uh Atlanta as soon as the daylight hit so horrible I have so much to edit because I'm not even speaking correctly like oh I'm gonna annoy future me, like sober future me. She's gonna be annoyed at this. But anyways, let me let me run the story back. So I got there, I took a bath, it was cute, it was, it was calm or whatever, but um he had roommates. I'm spilling tea, honey, but I don't care. He had roommates and his roommate was so like it was giving me like clout chaser and it wasn't cute. When you meet a hardcore clout chaser, it just makes, it turns you. And I'm the type of person that's like birds of a feather fly together. So it's like side eye and the person who got me there. And I'm just like, am I really supposed to be here? Or are you, you, you treating me like one of them, one of those. Ignoring that, the best part about it was that there was a pool that I could go to any time of the day. And I was looking thick, I was looking good. And all right, let me stop. Let me stop being shallow. So yeah, um, all was well. I copped some bud and I didn't really like come out of the guy's room because I didn't know anybody and it was just like, all they talked about was like Instagram girls and like they drag, like I've never in my life heard men drag women so badly and the energy about it was just not, mm -mm. I just wasn't into it. I was just like y'all acting like y'all like celebrities or something and it was just not my vibe like y'all are not humble at all. None of them were humble like all they were doing any type of Instagram if you name one Instagram girl right now they dragged her like that's how it is like they were just dragging females and it was it was just not the wave. I didn't like that at all. So that was strike one listening to you like amongst your friends drag Instagram girls because y'all can't get next to them and it's like Okay, and if y'all did get next to them, y'all chat and drag them and make it seem like they're sluts and hoes and all these things when they're just living their life just like you. But anyways, before I go off. So then it was some, it was, it was the mystery guys. I'm gonna call them mystery guy. I don't want to be on their list of Instagram girls. If I'm, I, I probably am already. They probably dragged me enough already because it was embarrassing out there. It was so embarrassing. Happened. So there was a birthday party for the mystery guy, and the birthday party was lit. The thing that blew mine was like they were preparing for the birthday party, right? So they weren't home. So I, I was like, I'm gonna go chill at the pool. Like, honey, that's all I need. And it wasn't people at the pool. I was literally the only person. So he calls his female friend to come hang out with me at the pool and smoke and stuff, right? Mind you, I talk to him. But anyways, so he brought a female friend to chill with me. Come to find out it was his ex, which I thought was really weird. I thought that was just, I think, I felt like it was, in my opinion, I felt like it was rude. But mostly weird that, like, you got your ex, like, rolling up for me and stuff like that, which is fishy. Hey guys, hi, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So basically, um... I'm so cute. I'm just so cute. It makes no sense. Look at me. I'm beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes I have to have those moments. It's very healthy. But as I was saying, so me and her were like chilling at the pool and uh, we were smoking and chatting and she was really cool, but I just felt like that was weird that like you could call your ex and she pulls up like that quickly with bud and every like everything prepared for you and turned out to be for me 
and I don't know when me and my exes do not they can't contact me it's clipped once you're done you're done because you're not gonna get it any more parts of my energy than you have gotten and waste my time again so I always cut off my exes like to the max so that was just weird to me like to me that was just really weird but um, we're chilling and all of that stuff and then fast forward blah, 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 fast forward we finally get to the party and I went with the girl I didn't go with him so that was even more weird the whole day you left me alone with your ex I think that's really weird, but maybe that's just me being overly sensitive. We still have the red wine popping, so let's get into it, okay? So, um, it's party time now. So she has a car. We both drive to the party. He's not nowhere to be. Well, actually, in Atlanta, they do this weird thing. So, you know, in New York, when before the party starts, people post up outside, like, the front of the place. In Atlanta, it was, like, a parking lot, and people were posted up with their cars. And the way they be... Atlanta people are fucking clout chasers. Not all of them, but most of them. Or maybe it was just the people I was around, but, oh, the clout chasing was to the max. And I was just like, yo, this is so fraudulent. I get to the party. She gets to the party, too. And she's like no offense but she was like smoked out and i guess she had drinks too and i was just she was just wanted to sit in the same spot and i was hot and i was looking at people with like vests with no shirts on and they just wanted to be new york city so bad i was like uh, new york is effortless y'all trying too hard but no shade to atlanta atlanta is still fun but <sighs> girl it just wasn't it wasn't for me it just wasn't it for me it was atlanta for me yeah so i'm just looking at everyone and it's a hot mess but it's still a lit party and like i finally got a hold of the guy like i finally found him in the party because he was like at the door getting his coins i don't blame him and i'm just like so what am i supposed to be doing like i don't know anybody out here so he gives me this big ass bottle and then has me standing by the bartending side and i'm just standing there with the bottle and i'm just like okay the music's lit and i'm with his ex and she's kind of dry she's not really talking and i it looked like she was really lit like she was done for like but not in a bad way it's just she looked really like she was nice like she was nice like she was just she was at that point he gave me the bottle i forgot what it was i forgot what what bottle he had me holding it was probably a henny bottle or some shit some basic shit and um he had me standing by the bartender section he told me to stay there i guess until he came back around but the lip part was koi lee ray she was there performing and she went off like yes girl go off yeah so the only person that i knew was his ex so obviously i'm gonna stay around people that i know but then she got over it and she was like well i'm going home and she had the whip and i'm just like dang so where am i going because i was staying with him in atlanta i should have just booked a hotel my own hotel or my own airbnb because that environment was toxic as fuck but um sips tea to that He finally comes up to me and they have a camera and they're like recording his birthday party and he's chatting and he put me in the video and I kind of didn't want to be in the video because I didn't want anyone to know that I was even in ATL because that's not the experience that I expected to have but it don't matter. It don't matter. It's whatever. It's the past now and I'm a bad bitch and they can't touch me now. I'm a different person now. You can't get me like that again now. No, no, never, not ever. Okay. So the party's done. I go back outside and the ATL stuff is happening like they post up in the parking lot because everybody has a car and these girls were like where's the niggas with the bottles where's the niggas with the bottles and then they see you guys like parked up by their car and they literally go to them like they don't even know them and they're like oh they got bottled like girl what are you doing like go cop your own bottle what are you why are you chasing strangers for a bottle like they're gonna get you lit and then they're gonna want to smash like what else do you expect if that's what you're there for then girl go ahead and do your thing but don't go chasing niggas for a bottle please don't it's just not cute and that's like the bottom of the totem like what are you doing so party ends we get back to the crib um i'm tired they're they invited oh my god why did i skip this part <laughs> let me clear my throat we get to the house i got there i think i got there first 
no actually i got there a little bit later because there were mad girls in the house and it was like his friend and his other friends like his male friends and the girl keeps calling him she's like saying mystery guy mystery guy he wasn't there yet he wasn't at the house yet and it's just like mystery guy mystery guy and i'm looking and i'm just like this is thirst and this is like why would you bring me in this environment when you know you got holes like mad holes that's on your body like that like don't i don't want to get twisted up into that mix like i'm not one of your hoes yeah they're calling his name or whatever and i'm just like what the fuck is going on like i don't like this vibe so i stayed in the room and everybody was downstairs wilding out and i was just like nah that's just not my energy it was too hype beast i felt like i was stuck inside like one of those parties that like all the hype beast goes to but i can't escape it because i live like not live there but i had to stay there so i had to hear all the nonsense and listen to guys talk about girls that are hoes or assuming that they're hoes it was just so much like they were dragging females to the max and talking about smashing and i hated that so fast forward again we went to the gun range and the gun range was cool it was me him and his bros but surprisingly he kept telling his bro like getting his bro to help me like shoot my gun and i'm just like nigga no like this is weird like you're the one who invited me here you're supposed to be the one interacting with me here and throughout the whole time you just got me here on the sidelines and i don't like that shit like i really wasn't feeling it i really wasn't but anyways <sighs> I look so good guys you just don't understand i look really good why not just just be like a baby doll to yourself like this is what i love like i'm just okay i'm sorry i got thrown off by my beauty <laughs> imagine getting thrown off your story by your beauty like that's goals and that's where i'm headed honey <laughs> running we kind of like get to the gun range and he's showing me like where he grew up and where his dad works and all of this stuff and i'm like okay this is cute like he's showing me around because bitch i did that for him in new york city when he was lost and he didn't know nothing about dallas likes pizzas okay yeah so we get to the gun range i choose my gun i shot a pistol and then i shot like an automatic and it was fun the automatic is way better than the pistol the pistol take your hand like I don't know what you call that but when you shoot your hand goes back and I was scared like I was like what if I hit my face with the gun but when I had like an automatic it was just right but anyways I should have took my thing with he had this one friend that was really really sweet though and I actually liked that friend not in like a ooh he's cute but in a like oh my god he respects women and he's really cool and he's really chill and he's not like trying to prove something with his masculinity or whatever but the gun range the gun range was cool because i got to let off steam because i was pissed off i don't know why i was pissed off that day but they probably did something that got me tight or it was just being around all that male negative energy like not one of them were in touch with their feminine energy at all like everything was like coordinated nothing was like free and like just you know um in the moment it was very like calculated and everything was very like negative towards women like i've never heard i have to keep repeating this because i've never in my life heard guys drag women like that like at all and it was just really weird it was really weird and i didn't understand like i didn't understand why they were so mad at women who were doing their thing like i felt like i stepped into instagram in real life and it was so corny and so annoying and so depressing and so self-absorbed and it was just not the vibe like i'm not that type of person and i'm realizing that like that's not my vibe so basically little yachty was having a roller skating party in atl i didn't have clothes i went shopping i went thrifting and stuff i went like i went to the thrift store and i got things but they weren't for parties they were just like you know stuff to wear like just because yeah i went i had that clothes like the thrift store clothes but come on now for little yachty uh little yachty's like roller skating party like you want to wear something that's like roller skating-esque like aesthetics that's how i am like i can't just go out there and look random which i could have passed for like going out there looking random because there's a lot of pretty girls out there but they just don't have no swag and it's really sad and i'm just like please don't make me a victim but i got into like a disagreement with the guy and i'm just like yo what am i supposed to wear like how am i supposed to dress for this blah say blah and then um he was like giving me some whack ass outfits to wear and i'm like you're not about to have me out here looking mad corny no i'm not wearing that and i was like i don't know if i want to go anymore and he was on some okay 
So he left me. He went with his bros and they left me in the crib by myself. And I couldn't leave because if I left, I would be locked out. And it was late at night. So I called one of my friends and I'm telling her like, yo, this guy ain't shit. Like he really dipped on me for Lil Yachty's like birthday party. Like hype beast. Like this is some hype beast shit. Do you not hear the words that's coming out of my mouth? I'm gonna give me <laughs> That's so much exposure. I don't wanna violate <laughs> But I'm nobody to them, so does it matter or should it? Well, I get backlash from this. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm tight, and I hit up my homegirl, and I'm like, yo, he really left me in the house with, like, no way to get out. If I try to leave, like, I'm stuck in there. He really left me for this little yachty party. Like, he really left me in the crib. So I, like, take a pen or something, and I poke a hole in his airbed, and it starts going flat, and I'm just like, oh, fucking well. And then I got mad, I don't know why, but I got mad and made myself a bev, like a little liquor or whatever. And then I'm so weak that I even put a hole in his airbed. Like that's the part that's making me so weak. I, I went and I um put a hole in his airbed and then I poured myself a glass of Clico or Cliquet or whatever the hell that shit is called. And um, I'm just sitting there and I'm telling my friend like you really violated, like this is grimy, this is some petty shit, whatever. And then I call my bro, like he's, I, f I fuck with him so hard. Like he's always there for me. Whenever shit gets crazy, like he's always there. So I'm like, yo, like, I'm, I gotta get out of here. Like this is not cool. Like this guy locked me in his crib. Like I can't even leave because I'll be locked out. And like, there's no food here. There's nothing. Like what? Is, why am I here right now? I can't even go to the pool. I have to stay in this toxic ass house. So I got mad and I like, finished my drink and I like threw it in the sink but it broke so there was broken glass or whatever it w I didn't do that on purpose I really didn't do it on purpose but it happened and I guess it was meant to happen or whatever yeah so that happened and then I smoked and I finally calmed down they finally came I blacked I went off I was like why would you do that like that's so petty like you left me in the crib by myself and I thought we were like on a different type of time and like I don't know we not talking or we are talking or whatever but if it were you i would not do that to you like i wouldn't i wouldn't violate you like that and you violated the fuck out of me and he was just being a kid oh i don't want to lose you as a friend and blah 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 like you're really nice and important and you said you didn't want to go and blah 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 and i was like i didn't have anything to wear so why would i want to go to a little yachty party and look basic like excuse me no so i left and i went to the couch downstairs and um yeah, they're gonna know. They're gonna know who I'm talking about. And I don't care at this point, but it happened and you violated. So if you're watching this, I still don't forgive you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. That's why I'm telling the story. Um, but yeah, so um, I slept on the couch and I called one of my friends, my other friend, and I'm telling her, like, this guy is so grimy, he's so corny, blah, say, blah. And the funniest part is, like, while I'm mad, I. <laughs> I was seeing him like trying to blow his bed back up, but <laughs> sorry, y'all. That was too funny. That was so funny. Nah, because the way he was trying to blow his bed back up because he couldn't find a hole. Something happened also. I don't know what, but I was like, I got a blast. Like, he did some shit. It was some weird shit and i wasn't with it and i was like i'm leaving like you're violating me i cannot take this no longer this is not the right vibe i'm out of here so i ended up like getting a panda bus and going back to new york but i cried to my friend i was like he violated me he got me out there by myself and blah 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 blah, blah, blah and i cannot and i'm never gonna trust these guys because they're so grimy and blah 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 blah, blah and fuck atl because i'm never coming back because this is how they all are and blah, blah 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 and all they care about is clothes and being hype beasts and, and and being cloud chasers and blah, blah 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 like that was just my vibe and i was just like i'm not coming back and i never i never went back i never went back i never got an official apology but it's whatever you're forgiven and it's not for you it's for me sis because i will be back out there on a different type of timing and i hope i bump into you so you can see me glowed up okay okay period <laughs> all right but yeah so i got violated like a couple times out there and it just wasn't fun so i had to go home 
And this is the lesson. Don't ever go to see somebody without getting your own. Like, get your Airbnb. Get your own hotel. Because people will make you feel so uncomfortable. And you will feel like you have no choice but to sit in that discomfort and just be around toxic people. And I'm not going to say that they were toxic people. It's like the topics were toxic. Like, it was just like dang you really worried about everybody else and you really hyped off of clout and that's not good and the best part about it was the gun range yeah that's pretty much the end of my story time okay let me get off camera because i'm getting awkward off of the red wine